Hospital, and one in Annandale, a uh, $60 million referred to as the Health and Human Services Bill. Uh, both bills were passed the Senate. In addition, we tacked on to that uh, $150,000 no, $1, to, to planning money to add 10 new buildings at our community college system. Two would come to the other and go ahead and build the building. What happened in the last hours of the, of the session, the House Delegates Committee on Capital Outlays, which served as members of the Congress Committee, decided that they were very interested in a health plan which they had for the board, health, health and retirement plan which they had for the board, telling a budget for the board, and trying to make it, we'll make you a deal. We will go along with your buildings if you go along with the health plan, our, our retirement plan. The problem with that is, the Senate already killed it. And so I can't do that. I can't go back and tell the Senate what to do now. What happened? We lost the buildings. We lost the 10, 10 community college buildings and the planning money. So that turned out to be at, the, at, the, at 1 30 in the morning, Sunday morning, uh, that turned out to be quite a disaster. Uh, for me, personally, but I worked hard on it. Anyway, about the time up. You've got two minutes. <laughs> <laughs>
from the Alexandria line all the way down to Quantico. And it's because of the BRAC, which is expanding Port Belvoir by 21,000 people and Quantico by 6,000. And there's really no transit in the area. I mean, the VRE is very nice, but it really doesn't service for Belvoir. So we need to get some options for these people, 40% of whom are going to be coming <coughs> from the south to Fort Belvoir, <coughs> and obviously going home in the afternoon. So it, it definitely <coughs> needs to get done, and then we need to start working on trying to get the money for that. For that. And I think that once it's funded and done, <coughs> we will have leverage to get the, the projects that are suggested funded. And this bill, by the way, was very much supported by the <coughs> McDonald administration and Thelma Drake, the head of the Department of Rail and Public Transit, was in every one of its hearings, supporting it very strongly. So if you see any of them, thank them for, for their support. I also carried a bill for uh, a couple of bills for Prince William County, one of which Jim Council worked on. And it was to fix a bill I carried last year about FOIA requests. And last year's bill really about drove the school system crazy. So we fixed it this year and that passed unanimously. Is my five minutes up? <laughs> <laughs> and then I carried one more for local government to change the MOA uh, numbers that we count for transportation to the COG numbers. <coughs> they asked me to do. Thank you, and I look forward to your questions. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably, you know, I can only imagine when they start, they probably say, how can I possibly fill five That's minutes? Exactly right. And then it seems like it goes like that. So. <laughs> understand that. Uh, thank you, Senator Puller. And uh, our last senator uh, with us this evening is Virginia Senator George Parker. Senator Parker. Thank you very much. It's uh, my pleasure to be here and uh, welcome everybody to the 39th Senate District. I'm glad to have you all in. Uh, we're all registered to vote. Uh, we've got an election coming out this year. So uh, do that before you leave. Just put this down your hands. Uh, there's a, uh, I don't know whether any of you heard of me before. I've, I think there's been a little an article or two in the newspaper that's mentioned me lately, but I'm not going to talk about that today. I'll answer questions on that later if you want to. But I want to talk a little bit about the session and some of the major things that went on there. Uh, and three things I want to talk about, but first, sort of as a prelude to all of it, I want to tell you that once again, uh, Senator Colbert did a phenomenal job in working through the budget. Uh, I have been 